Hey everybody, KC here. So I'm in Monterey, California, and I am thrilled to be here. And not just because it's about 60, 62 degrees and I'm escaping the incredible heat that we've been having back home. I'm glad to be here because for uh, the eighth year, I'm getting the opportunity, the privilege really, to participate in the programming at the annual Organic Produce Summit. I'm thrilled. I think I've done, I've done this every year that they've done it. The only year we've missed was the, the one COVID year. And it, this is always a great show. And, and they always have a really good educational program, not necessarily just because I'm part of it. And um, listen, one of the things we're going to do tomorrow is I'm going to have a conversation on stage uh, with Robbie Cruz of Target and Patrick Haynes of UNFI talking about how their companies are seeing the growth uh, or, or perhaps lack of uh, organic produce sales. And it's going to be an interesting conversation in part because uh, Robbie, while he's at uh, Target, used to be at Super Value. He used to work on the wholesaler side. And Patrick, well, you know, he spent uh, more than three decades at Walmart before going to UNFI. So they they each have a kind of an understanding of the, of the other side of the fence. So it'll be an interesting conversation to have. You know, one of the things we're going to talk about is the, is the fact that um, 2023 organic produce sales were up, but volume was slightly down. That's probably, you can uh, probably look at inflation as being part of that, uh, that part, part of that calculus. Conventional produce, well, they were both up slightly, right? The sales as well as volume, but only a little bit. So they're sort of tracking together. And this is interesting to me because the New York Times had a story the other day, and I'm going to do another thing about this uh, lower down on Morning Newsbeat, basically asking the question, is organic produce worth it? So one of the things I want to um, ask these two executives, and frankly, I want to, you know, I ask the broader Morning Newsbeat community, for that matter, is, you know, is the industry making the case strongly enough, persuasively enough, that organic produce is worth it? And if not, what do they need to have to do so? You know, I've always been a big believer in education and talking to people about products, being more upfront me, and being more ambitious and persuasive in educational efforts. Um, that's one of the things we're gonna talk about tomorrow. But listen, I'm just thrilled to be here. This is, as I said, a great event. And I'll be talking, telling you more about what happens tomorrow. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. And as always, I wanna hear what's on your mind.